this is the time of year when the world's business leaders would be gathering in Davos to plan the coming year for the global economy. Instead, much like everything else, the World Economic Forum and the Future Investment Initiative are happening remotely and on screens. Today, we're talking to thought leaders and business executives about how the world can bounce back from the pandemic and recession. There's a lot of learning, a lot of empathy, I'm hoping that's come out of this pandemic and that we need to readjust the way that we've built this systemically. So a lot of this is a mindset thing where it's a, a way to recreate uh, new realities with existing systems, to bend systems. Because if you're not moving the needle on, on racial equity, uh, you are on the wrong side of racism. But the real issue is what happens at a leadership level. And I think we need to see real, you know, extreme work done there. And so we need to start putting cash into women's hands and into people of color's hands and into black women's hands and trans women's hands and all of those things. That's how we value people. That's how we lift people up. That social divide is exacerbated further by COVID. And I think that has impacted refugees and, and displaced communities. Like people everywhere, migrants and refugees, they want to be independent. People think that refugees are victims. They're not victims. A lot of times they were in school or had shops or, you know, had families and were and are fully capable to, to lead a life. But we also see a ton of innovation being born, right? We see telehealth having its its sort of e-commerce moment. Well, this year, the year global health went local. 87% of people believe that businesses um, have a responsibility to give back in those communities and doing so in a way that actually enables young people to learn about the power of technology, the power of um, how technology can change them and their communities when used for good. I don't think we have the luxury of separating the E and the S anymore. I think everything has to be taken into um, consideration when you're trying to attract institutional money. Think about your UN Sustainable Development Goals and you talked about sustainable finance, in our mind is actually a subset of that. So that is the conscious investing and financing of environmentally uh, decarbonizing activities as well as social inclusive activities. That black and brown people are more likely to be infected and killed from COVID-19. So to be anti-racist is to look at that disparity, not see the cause of it as something being wrong and inferior about black and brown people, but to figure out the policies and practices behind that disparity and to challenge them and seek to replace them. Earth, spaceship Earth, we're all astronauts, right? We're all living on this same spaceship. We need to understand that it's a, it's a beautiful place, but it's also very fragile. And so how do we envision working together? No matter where we are, we all share the same home. 